think uh, I think it's time to move on to our, our, our awesome segment that we came up with, the Twitter idiot of the week. Yep. And I know, uh, Jack, more, more so, you, you definitely – have the Twitter idiot of the week a couple yeah, of Yeah, I'm I'm pretty fired up about it. If I, been fire, if I haven't been fired up to this point about the podcast, I'll be fired up now. But biggest areas deadbeats, idiots, mm. snowflakes, hipsters, you know, the hipsters. Not not my type else. of yeah, not my type of person. So yeah. anytime I see something by the Los Angeles Times, I just got a ninety five percent chance I'm gonna disagree with it. Yeah. But this time there's a ninety nine percent chance. Listen to this fucking article. Mm. Enough with the work from home sweatpants. Dress like the adult you're being paid to be. So basically, our pal Adam Tishorn, by the way, what a stupid last name. T S H O R N. I how do you pronounce that? Tish Tishorn? Tissue Tishorn? Tish, douche, douche. Stupid. <laughs> Deputy fashion editor. Wow. Congrats, man. He he basically says, like, stop like stop dressing like a bum because you're getting paid big money. So you should dress for the part. It's like, I get it. I get it. If you got to be on TV, right? Let's say mm-hmm. you're, let's say you're a sports analysist and yeah. you're wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Yeah. You know, you should, at, le- at least you wear a, be professional. A, a suit on the top and yeah. you know, sweats on the, who cares about the bottom? Yeah. But what about me? I don't give a shit. Why do you care what I dress like yeah, for seriously. my job? I'm doing my job just as good as I did before all this happened. Mm-hmm. But now I have the freedom to look like and feel like whatever I want. So I'm going to take that freedom. Why the fuck would I put in an hour to dressing up, you know, when I don't even have to be looked at by other people? Yeah, exactly. And and if you're in a meeting for like even like 20, 30 minutes, you're no one's you're no one cares how you look or how even on your top no. top of you look. You just you'd be wearing a t shirt. It's all about the I, content. I the content a, what's it, coming out of my mouth. It's That's the collaboration and, yeah. and everything. But when you're the at synergy. Work, yeah, the synergy. The synergy between between corporate American workers and creating more ideas to better the country. Yeah. To innovate, to innovate, to build the build trust and t- integrity amongst the American people. But no, it, it's, it's like when you're at an office, obviously you, you're, you're being looked at, you want to look professional, whatever it's, it's yeah, kind of like the, the formality at that point, you know, but when you're at home, when you're just getting out of bed to go to your home office or whatever, you're still doing your job. Who cares how you look? It, it, that that literally makes no sense. It's like this guy is like, I don't know, too big of a stick up his ass or and something. And he's making like, he makes a he's making a Duck Dynasty reference because those guys show up to work, you know, in long hair and beards and camo. But yeah. it's like, dude, who cares? Who cares that they're in Louisiana making? I guarantee duck calls. you, in ten dude. years, there's not going to be a single job in America that you have to be wearing a suit and tie for anymore. Yes. Because guess it's what? Like it, it's so it's all off. it's all about it's all about you know what you say Being and casual. how hard you work. Yeah. It's not about what you look like. And, and it helps. Creating, it sure helps. Yeah. But. But it's all about, yeah, companies are being more progressive in worker morale and helping people almost just wear whatever they want. You know, it's, it's better to more yeah. relaxed environments. I was going to say, like, you're talking about Duck Dynasty, and it's like, dude, not every work environment is a corporate, your, your stupid corporate, my dad paid for my college. Yeah, yeah, let's all wear suits workplace. because we, we have to type shit. Yeah, right? it's like, dude, you're not, what are you, like, that is just class A douchebag spinning mm-hmm. right there like and then makes no sense and then while we're on the subject of people telling me how to quarantine idiot. Wiz Khalifa says y'all stop microwaving all your meals it's like what why are you telling me how to cook Wiz Khalifa you know just because I don't have a private chef who cooks me steak and rolls me joints like you do every day doesn't mean you know just because I have that doesn't mean that I should be using an oven too like yeah yes I've microwaved 90 percent of the meals I've made since this started but you know, who cares? Why are you judging me for that? Why are people telling me how to quarantine? Get the fuck out of here. Don't tell me how to quarantine. Yeah, seriously. It's like he's telling – he's, he's calling us lazy. Like, stop using the microwave. It's like – like, seriously, man, you, you, you probably have, like, few, a few private chefs to make your own meal, and you're making a ton of money, which you rightfully earn for the most part, sir. I'm not, I'm not bashing that, but it's like, dude, you're, 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 you're ripping on middle America here of people who have the microwaves. It's an innovation. It's an invention, and we can use it. It's efficient. It's efficient and we can use it. So why are you, that makes that, that tweet makes no sense. And that's, yeah. that, that's why we get these Twitter idiots. Cause they, these tweets, it, it's like, where are you coming from to tweet this stuff or write this stuff? Like Adam, Adam Tishorn's article. And then now Wiz Khalifa is saying this stuff. Like why, what's the reasoning behind any of this? I don't like, know. That's man. so dumb. People, Telling people, that, don't hey, use people, the microwave. People out West, what? they, uh, they, or at least people that spend a lot of time in Hollywood, LA, they, they, yeah. they, they think they know how the world works over there and they got, yeah. they got to, 
They got to share the celebrities. With else. Yeah, the journalists, celebrities, and I guess Wiz Khalifa got hashtag California corrupted. Yeah, being over there now himself. I don't know if he's from there. He could very well be from California, but uh, regardless, might, I think he might be from Pittsburgh. But he probably spends a lot of time over there now. Oh, now, now, yeah. I was gonna say, regardless if he was grew up in California or not, he's he's been involved in the Hollywood LA scene, celebrity scene. They all think they know the how the how the Cornhusker in Nebraska farmer works and runs his business. Yeah, like, the, the, the common the man. Up. They don't. You don't know the common man. Get it's the, like I'm not saying I know how to be here. you, but it's like, come on, you, you don't be don't be telling us how we live our lives in quarantine to a person to us in like Minnesota, man. Just yeah, live your yeah. own life. Don't tell us what to do. Don't tell us the freaking what what we should wear, let alone mm-hmm. what we should wear if we're working from home. And then don't tell us that we have to stop using microwaves. Like, yeah, that that this might be their. I mean, this is only the third edition of Twitter Idiot of the Week, but my God, but these my might God, be, take the they, cake for it's the first more three. alive than ever. Just because the cor- coronavirus shut down the world doesn't mean it shut down idiots on Twitter. No, nope. you, got, you guys take that one to the bank and lock it in. No matter what yeah. happens in the world, people will still be stupid on Twitter every people day. Will, every day. And, and speaking of that, going off from that, beyond Twitter, there are dumb people all over the place. And with, with, with obviously be, uh, this being in quarantine and, and not having sports, I've, I've coped with that by playing a lot of, uh, a lot of chill NHL 20. And I I've been playing some online versus games where I just play another person online. And, and um, I beat a guy four two on um, just a basic online game. And he decided to uh, be a, a, be a salty bitch about it and be pissed about one game of NHL. And he sent me an Xbox message via, or via the messenger. And I'm going to read it to you right now. So this is what he messaged me about five minutes after I beat him four to two. He said, I felt sorry for your lame ass tag and you're a wild fan question mark. Yikes. Hopefully COVID-19 puts you out of your misery. Mm. And, and I just wrote good game. That's a 2020 insult for you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm like, saying that COVID-19 kills you. It's like being a sore loser, bro. I, I beat you on one fucking game of NHL, dude. Like, calm the hell, calm down. And he's like, put you out of your misery for being a wild fan. I'm like, it's like, dude, you're the one who just lost to me. Like, doesn't that make you worse than me? That's dude, like whenever, I, whenever people say I, I suck on COD after I kill him. Like, well, if I suck, you must be really bad. Yeah, exactly. Like five times. That 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 insult. Yeah, from from COD to anything. That the insult of when someone, of, of when I beat someone or you beat someone, and they and they say you suck. It makes utterly no sense mm-hmm. whatsoever. But like I posted that you you can find that on or you can find that tweet. I'll I'll post it up here for the people who are. Uh, watching right now but i did i did i did when i i tweeted it out on our twitter on my twitter personal twitter and i i wrote a caption for it and i'm like i beat you for a game of chell bud and you're you get your panties in a bunch your freaking templi bud sit down you duster because i was just yeah. giving people some more context about what happened uh and i beat this guy for two and he's just being a a freaking little bitch about it and it's mm-hmm. just it goes beyond that there's idiots all over the place from twitter to xbox and we know for sure xbox but i oh, yeah. I, I, I got a since first the dawn account. of time there's since been the, some idiots on xbox since the dawn of xbox live and online gaming in the early 2000s there's been idiots all over the place but this was my first hate mail on xbox in a long time so i mm-hmm. or at least at least in message form so i can document it and so I had to say that, but I think it goes along with a lot of these, uh, these Twitter idiots and Xbox idiots. And I think it all, it all goes into it full circle. It's just, we'll have to wait and see. I, I'm excited to see what, what next week's Twitter, who's, who's next week. Who's oh next yeah. Week's no, this is, this is a, this is, I'm chomping at the bit already and it's only Monday. It's only Monday and we're already looking at it. I mean, I, I hope, it, I know like the first time it was, uh, it was one of our very own, it was Gabe Lidner and I'm hoping that we can get some more of our own involved. Yeah. In Twitter. Well, we, they can be well, idiots. We, so it shouldn't be hard. Yeah. It shouldn't be, a, it shouldn't be hard. We, like you said, we have a bunch of kids. So, I mean, mm-hmm. it, it shouldn't be hard for someone to tweet out something stupid and tweet something controversial, but a lot of times it's going to be coming. It's probably going to be coming from these stupid ass celebrities out in California that don't know what the hell they're talking about, or they're on some ecstasy or, or, drugs yeah, molly or molly whatever i know everything i am god i'm gonna tweet this about people in minnesota I yeah, i'm gonna tell you stop fucking using your microwave like come on Wiz khalifa like you probably have the brain of a seven-year-old due to all the frying you've done to it like don't yeah. don't tell me not to well, you know what you're doing on come 420 on, bro just stick yeah. to your 420 activities and and and, go and i'll and that. i'll and i'll stick to my general electric microwave all right yep. two, two minutes Two minutes to reheat anything. There you yep. go. I'll, the t- I'll, I'll stick to my technology and my, my reheating and getting my food quickly and yep. in good quality as well. 